big month this month because the new Hulu show is coming out called Dress My Tour. So for people that haven't seen it yet, you need to give us a rundown on what we could expect from it. The show is an amazing competition reality based on uh, following 11 designers coming from different backgrounds of design, costume design, streetwear. And every week they're faced with an incredible challenge where we have a musician that is our guest judge. And that is their challenge for the week um, to create something for that particular musician for whether it's a tour, a stage, a performance. And then from there, uh, we follow their journey uh, through the show. And then again, this is something that we've never seen before where we really showcase the form of merging costume and fashion as one and being able to introduce something new to our audience and go behind the scenes and dive deep into how these iconic moments are being created. Absolutely. And is that kind of the reason why you both wanted to be on this project or was there something else that kind of drew you to it? I think where we are in music, fashion, um, and innovation with technology and how we are consuming things, this show is right on time because it opens a new plethora of information and inspiration from a historical perspective and from a future perspective. Now, artists are expected to land 360 degrees with their experience, their music, the knowledge of that. And costume designing has always been a big part of this conversation. Yes. You know, Kiss, Elvis, Prince, Michaels, Thriller Jacket, Madonna, Gautier, the Gaga, the meat dress. The collaborations have been incredible. And because I feel like development is at its lowest state in the music industry, this show is so innovative and so necessary that it's going to inspire that conversation. So, you know, greatness in the value of going to see your favorite artist. Yes. It can be raised. And being that you both are mentors and judges here on the series, what was that like going in and working with these different contestants week by week? I think for us, it was a collaborative experience, but also we had our pockets that we were really paying attention to us having completely different backgrounds, but still being so united with music and our careers. I think this was a very unique take that the contestants, the designers got different worlds um, and different tools and different resources as I was looking as the, at the technical execution and more so as how things were put together and the choices that were being used to execute from the idea to a sketch to the design. Lorianne was able to really embody the whole package and then come in with a creative outlet, which of course I'll let her speak on that. So I think together we were able to bring um, a lot of information and a lot of inspiration and also building in that confidence to be yourself but also showcase your work but also be in line with what the industry is asking of you mm -hmm. and again like my side was more on the design aspect and then i'll let lorian give us the two senses of what it was it like to the creative aspect of it incredible because yeah. you know you see you see your favorite artist sometimes and you think no, there is a huge collaboration. There is a creative director. There is a visionary. There is a story. There is a why. It's not just, oh, I popped out with this garment, you know? And within that process, the magic of it, will be, it's even experienced on a bigger level. And myself and Marina are a big part of a lot of those great popular moments in popular culture. Yeah. So to really identify that process that we carry is so magical and yeah. innovative and necessary. Absolutely. Do you feel like though you guys kind of put your own personal touches on things when you are creating these stories for these artists? Always. I, I feel like when we collaborate with anybody, I, I think the first part of it is communication and being able to really have that dialogue as to what the aesthetic of the artist is, the performance, the moment. And then from there, that's why you're being kind of brought on to this project is to give a little bit of yourself and create unique moments and memorable, iconic moments from your experience and your wealth of knowledge. And we did that for the contestants as well. You know, we ex allow them to explore 
their worlds and backgrounds and experiences and technique to bring that all to the forefront and also understand where we're coming from and the experience that we have behind us. Innovation changes, right? There are some things that don't, but the the idea that we're multi-hyphenated creatives and we get to speak to the baby versions of ourselves that were affected by the work we did, yeah! <laughs> Connect me immediately. And the one thing that I love is that it has always been a passion of mine to pull out a raw talent, to not only mentor it, but yeah, sometimes we gotta have the hard conversations, but, but that's where we are similar and that's where we've been a united force is the intention to pull out of, of a young talent is really an awesome process. And even though the first three episodes, honey, they, don't, they might not be listening, and they might not even be baby marinas at first because you're like, oh my God, girl. <laughs> the process is very riveting and it is a little dramatic, but there's greatness in every episode. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Now, I love that you said that you kind of see yourself in the contestants. Was there one in particular that really kind of like you got super close with or um, you were just like, oh, like this, this was me when I was younger. <laughs> I think everybody had something inside of them that we could relate to. I think on so many different levels, my platform and work has been so vast and spread out in different avenues from stage to television, you know, commercial work, a world tour. So it's like you see it, that drive in them and you see us at different stages through our careers um, that you just want to be there to support and elevate it and also be real and honest as to how this process works. Um, so yeah, there were moments where I could feel them because we're still, Lorian and I are very much involved in our careers till this day. So there are moments when these challenges are coming about that we could very much relate to the pressure and the understanding and the language and the narrative and also the execution and the expectation of the artist. Because some of, you know, our panel judges, uh, we've also had experiences with in the past working together. So we know how high the bar is and what we can bring to the table. And anything else maybe behind the scenes that you can share that we wouldn't know just by watching the show? Maybe like a funny moment or maybe a scene that didn't make the cut? I think that it's never been experienced before this conversation. Okay. We've like pulled back a few veils, but I would say Marina had a few faves out the gate, but not really, but may really, but not, maybe not, but was it me Marina that I had a few faves out the <laughs> gate? I don't know, <laughs> but it changed every week because each artist required a different challenge. So every week to, it wasn't like it was the same person over a mm -hmm. series. Mm -hmm. And there might have been some familiarity in starting to identify with the designer or what their DNA was or who they were. But because every episode was a different artist and it was specific to that challenge and that artist, honey, it's a dramatic beat and you're going to see the drama in the episode. So really what happened behind the scenes was kind of the same thing because I think we broke the fourth wall. <laughs> in the show period as well i see i think you see some of it to add on to that too i don't think there this is the type of show you walk in and you have favorites i think we definitely from the first episode saw strengths and kind of like a skill set that was presented for us okay. but what was impressive to me is also seeing the evolution in such a short period of time okay. you saw the notes that were taken or you know when we were doing our mentoring sessions it was definitely some guidance that we probably gave more to some than others but to see how well the response was and where we got to the end of the show it, it's amazing because then you do see this um, like stage and levels of just understanding what the assignments are and who their artists are and being more comfortable. And again, like at the end of the day, artists need confidence because you have to defend your work. And we've had moments where we might not have agreed with the choices, but by the way, they were able to present their own work to us and defend every step of their creative process was something that changed our minds, you know? So that's also impressive because it opened up our world to our reality, how we work the same way.